let's get into the top seven fashion trends of 2024 according to New York Fashion Week. You all know I just attended New York Fashion Week and I got to see the shows. I watched some of the shows online and also I got to see the street style. So without further ado, let's hop into it and don't think you need to run out and buy all of these things. Most of these things you already have in your wardrobe and I'm going to show you how I style these things and incorporate them into my wardrobe. Let's kick it off with trend number one in no particular order which is tiny shorts now in 2023 we saw bejeweled underwear shorts they weren't technically shorts they were more like bloomers if we're being honest um and some people pulled that trend off beautifully but i am very much liking the short that has a little more fabric to cover up a, a little more if you know what I mean um, and we saw this trend at La Pointe I actually went to the La Pointe show it was one of my favorite shows of New York Fashion Week they had tons of like micro shorts and blues yellows pinks really their monochrome looks impeccable um, and I love the way that they styled the shorts usually all in a monochrome look and a lot of them they wore with like tights or stockings so that it was easily wearable so you're not showing too much and also to make it more appropriate for fall and winter again all of the shows that happen during new york fashion week in february are showing clothes that are going to be available for fall winter of the same year so we just had fall winter 24 everything that you saw on the runway in February will be available for purchase around late August September ish so we're getting a preview of what trends are going to be happening for fall and winter but again a lot of these things are also um, taking hints from spring summer so yeah in addition to La Pointe there was also Retrofit which was just one of my favorite shows they had the show at the Plaza Hotel in New York City it was decadent it was incredible and I wish I would have went <laughs> it was such a great show but of course they also had like tiny shorts I believe I saw a pair in like a like a leather or a pleather like material um, so those were two huge shows that incorporated shorts and I've seen these shorts everywhere in fact i kind of indulged in the trend myself by purchasing a pair of 22 dollars faux leather shorts from walmart specifically from the scoop line who the scoop line is actually designed by brandon maxwell who also had an incredible show in new york fashion week and i'm wearing the shorts now if you follow me on instagram uh you've already seen me style these shorts they are such great quality they have pockets and they're not too short so you can easily wear these and incorporate them into your wardrobe um, especially if you have thicker thighs like I do I ended up pairing them with an opaque tight and then I'll pop on like a fun little heel like my scaparellis and just go with an all black look by the way this turtleneck or this uh, sweater is from uh, source unknown amazing I have it in every single color but yeah if you want to try out the trend without going super super micro definitely check out these shorts from scoop um, on Walmart I'll link them down below so I've also worn this trend previously I feel like maybe like four years ago short shorts were also in when Jacquemus drop these hot pink hot shorts i'll pop a photo up here um and i still love those shorts till this day but of course we're seeing short shorts kind of evolve and be more classy if you will um and also more readily wearable for the fall and winter season so whether it's spring summer or fall winter tiny shorts are definitely a huge trend for 2024 um, I'll link a few of my favorites down below that I think are great for spring and summer as well as fall and winter and you can check it out 
Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here of Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another fashion video. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, everyone, let's get into the next trend, which might ruffle some feathers, but it's fur. Fur, whether it's Mongolian fur, shirling, um, faux fur, or real fur, um, there was a lot of fur for nearly every New York Fashion Week show that occurred. Um, and I really like the interpretations of how fur was used uh, in all of these shows. So also, I also noticed that a lot of show attendees were wearing furs as well. For one, my good friend Janae, um, formerly Hilo Lux and host of Style Unlocked here on YouTube, she wore this gorgeous, I believe it was um, custom made uh, fur by the brand For Real Lifestyle on Instagram. And I'll pop the handle on the screen. It'll also be in the description box. That fur was gorgeous. Okay, I've never seen something so luxe in my entire life. Janae did that. Okay, she looked regal, rich, and just gorgeous in this fur. It was just giving everything that needed to be gave for New York Fashion Week, if we are being <laughs> completely honest. Um, and also my good friends, the Yusuf sisters, um, I saw one of them wear this like red fur and it was giving. And I was like, yeah, snap, snap, snaps. I mean, you giving us color and fur, honey. Like, I love that for us. Now, outside of show attendees, the shows that featured furs, of course, La Pointe. I saw the furs in real life with my own eyes, you guys. I was sitting in the second row, but I could see the furs. There were so many variations. Everything looked super plush. There was one f fur jacket that was a myriad of colors, which I thought was just so extra. I know some celebrity is probably going to wear that fur in the fall and winter season on a carpet or for a street style fashion event or moment because it gave everything and again with the La point the styling was amazing of course some of the furs were also styled with the tiny shorts so we have multiple trends happening at once um a few other brands that did furs very well were michael kors i believe there was this one white fur that was insane um just gorgeous a lot of like trench fur coats um, cut off fur coats from Michael Kors as well. Michael Kors also had this gorgeous like pink fur. I'm not sure if it was fur um, but it gave the appearance of fur but it was very shaggy just stunning and also like a black hooded fur coat I believe as well. In addition to LaPointe and Michael Kors also Retrofit had a ton of fur coats. I think there was a fur vest. Actually, it was Retrofit that had the super long trench white fur coat, which is absolutely stunning. I think they had a shorter version as well, and they were all plush and all giving. Let's move on to Laquan Smith, one of my faves. Um, by the way, Babyface played a piano and sang at his show, which was <laughs> amazing and incredible. Like, royalty right there um but laquan did a different take on fur with a short fur bomber coat that was cropped it and it was in a beautiful like burgundy luff okay i hadn't seen anything like that during the season um his take on fur was really cool i also loved the super oversized shiny luxurious black fur coat Laquan Smith did like I think he paired it with um like a, a either a pencil skirt or a midi dress and it just uh the decadence and last but not least we have Kate which I actually really enjoy Kate's show um but they went with a more structured fur trench coat with like shoulder pads to give more definition there was one in white I need that coat I know it's at least twenty thousand dollars, <laughs> but.
but it's such a gorgeous coat they did one in um like a burgundy color as well with a black leather lapel gorge and then they also did the classic one in like a black shiny material they're all like floor length trench coats and i adored them all so fur whether you like it or not whether it's real fur whether it's faux fur whether it's shirling um mongolian fur it's in it's in all the brands have come out with some kind of fur product if it wasn't in a coat i saw sleeves in fur i saw bags in fur um i saw like stoles in fur fur is gonna be huge for 2024 just off of the small number of shows i happen to watch during new york fashion week michael kors kate retrofit laquan smith lapointe everyone's doing fur um of course you can get the look for less at places like walmart <laughs> asos i actually have two super cool like faux leather coats that i've had for at least five years both are from asos amazing quality i'll be sure to link a few faux fur uh pieces down below shirling pieces um as well if you are looking to incorporate the trend into your wardrobe for 2024. now the way i have incorporated like fur or faux fur into my wardrobe is with accessories and also with a few like coats from ASOS. These are the Foxy Heels from Kendall Miles, which is a black owned luxury shoe brand. And when I tell you, anytime I wear these shoes, I get stopped on the street. Um, they are gorgeous, they are stunning. I will pop up some photos of me styling these two different ways. One I wore with like a, a blue dress and a coat. The other I wore more street with like cargo pants and a leather jacket. Um, but these are stunning and they come in every color, black. Uh, I wish I could get the black ones, but they've been sold out in my size for a while. But Kendall Miles makes these beautiful heels, luxury heels, I believe made in Italy and definitely check her out. So that's one way I've kind of incorporated fur. If I feel like I can't wear like a full faux, I mean a full, fur coat mainly because i live in miami now i could probably wear mine a uh, faux, faux fur coat here in new york but i feel like with access accessories with shoes and hats it's easier to incorporate in your wardrobe without it feeling like it, the trend is swallowing you and again you can do that with other accessories i just recently got this hat i got it during new york fashion week and i think this is a fun way to add a pop of like faux fur as well to a look without it feeling overpowering. I know a lot of people kind of shy away from wearing uh, fur coats or faux fur coats, even if it's like shorter length, because it just feels like the trend is just too big to wear. But, you know, if you're a little extra, go for it. But if you just want to dip your baby toe into the trend, you can try a hat, you could try shoes, you could try a faux fur bag, just to accent your look. So I'll make sure to link some faux fur pieces down below, whether that's coats, jackets, shoes, hats, accessories um, that you can easily incorporate into your wardrobe for 2024. Let's get into the next trend, which is probably my favorite of 2024, and that is giant bags. So the next trend is giant bags. Giant bags are back, okay? I feel like I predicted this last year because we saw huge hobo bags travel bags work bags kind of coming back towards the end of 2023 but so many of the incredible fashion shows that took place during new york fashion week featured giant bags uh starting with brandon maxwell which again one of my faves the show was absolutely stunning and breathtaking um and again brandon maxwell does design for scoop at Walmart which is why the pieces are so good and I have on these super cute uh, scoop shorts but Brandon did a very huge shoulder hobo bag in black but he also did it in this beautiful chocolate brown now I don't know if you guys know but I am loving chocolate brown right now sorry if I'm looking down I'm looking at my notes because it's just so much <laughs> to report on but the, the chocolate brown 
super huge shoulder hobo bag is on my wish list <laughs> i don't know how much it costs but it's huge uh it was worn with a beautiful black dress with a little peak of like lime green <sighs> it's the brown for me the brown just worked next up we have laquan smith and there was just one bag from this collection but it stood out because it meets two trends it was a huge i believe clutch but it was an a fur clutch you guys this bag i need more photos of it i need like a close-up of this bag because this bag is the one for me i mean it, it incorporates two trends giant bags and fur i mean i could have put this in the fur category but i had to wait and like spring it on you gorgeous bag paired with this beautiful pinstripe suit i, be I believe it was a short set uh this this fur it just looks stunning and gorgeous and the size of the bag is just <laughs> it's everything and i adore it next up we have retro fet who did giant like leather hobo bags there is one in black and there was this crazy one in red with like a, a matching red sweater gorgeous these bags look super plush they're meant to be like held almost like a garbage bag really <laughs> but gorgeous bags again hobos oversized bags really in for 2024. of course michael Kors hopped on the bandwagon with a huge hobo bag as well and i've noticed that these style of giant bags are not that structured um they're very much giving super big hobo something you could throw over your shoulder and put lots of things in there was a really beautiful um like neutral nudie caramelly beige colored bag and then it also came in black but i could just imagine putting three whole outfits four pairs of shoes my camera and anything else i would need for an overnight stay <laughs> in one of these giant michael kors bags and last but not least we have kate that did two notable super large bags um the first is a python print top handle bag that is absolutely gorgeous um this is one of the only like giant bags i saw on the runway that actually had a print and you guys know snake print python print is really really hot right now and kate always does a few pieces in python print whether that's pants um shirts coats i believe my friend janae has a, a two-piece set from them with the top and bottom in this beautiful leather and python print but this bag gorge they also did a super huge shoulder hobo and what looks to be a patent leather and black it's really hard to kind of make out the bag because everything is so black they did like a black runway like a lacquered runway the lights were very dark i believe this was worn with a navy blue set uh but the bag is ginormous compared to the model and that's the way i could differentiate that it was a bag uh, so giant bags were definitely on the runway and I have two of my own to show you guys I know what you're gonna say but we have this giant MCM diamond tote I've had this for a while anytime I wear this people go nuts they either go nuts because they think it's hilariously big which it is or they go nuts because they love it um and this is for our, almost like a briefcase it does come with a shoulder strap so it's great to travel with you can fit your laptop in there it's quite spacious and you can zipper it closed which is great a lot of big bags don't have a zipper and people can just reach down in there but not this one this one has a zipper has a few different pockets and i just if you wear an all black look or an all gray look this just makes a look um by the way it does come in a smaller size as well but i do have a coupon code for 10 percent off at mcm worldwide the code is mcm monroe m-o-n-r-o-e s s 24 and i'll put that on screen here for you guys i will also put it in a pin comment and in the description box the code is only good for a month so if you see anything on the mcm worldwide website including this bag use my code and it'll get you a couple hundred dollars off so shout out to them for updating the code for all of my subscribers um next up we have a new end bag from mason eli which i'm going to unbox for you all now but it goes very much hand in hand with the giant bag trend 
all right guys so we have a little unboxing here from mason eli um, which is a black owned business that i found out about them um and they sent me a beautiful bag in fact where's the other bag they sent it is here whoops i wore this during new york fashion week and a lot of you just loved it this is their luna bag um but i had to go and purchase this bag because when i saw it on their website the price was amazing i believe this was under 200 dollars or just a little bit more than 200 dollars. but this is their carry all tote in a beautiful brown suede and it is absolutely stunning it does remind me quite a bit of like the row uh margo bag but way more affordable and black owned this is also beautiful suede leather genuine there is a little clip here there are some holes there and then you just put it through like so and then you just clip it wherever you want there is no zipper but it does have a, a hard shell suede bottom beautiful on the inside it has these little clips little buttons on the both sides so that either you can squish it like so or you can pop it open for more space and it does also have a little purse attached that zippered so you can store your keys you can store your cards just so things don't get lost because this is quite a big bag and i i love it i love it because it's such a deep chocolate brown and this will be great for shopping when I'm in Paris. Like, uh, I also love a good black brown combination. It doesn't have any feet, but it's just a gorgeous bag. Like the video quality is not even doing this bag justice, but it does come in a few different colors. I think this one just got back in stock. I'll link it down below. Definitely check out Mason Eli for incredible bags and shout out to them. Uh, for sending me this baby and then putting me on to this one so I could purchase myself. Trend number four is sexy, thick, chunky, juicy knits. Now, uh, there were two brands who did this very well, well during New York Fashion Week. The first up is Diotima, which the, the pieces are piecing okay um by rachel scott she's been on the scene for quite some time now i, I would say the last two three years she's kind of like exploded onto the scene with her chunky just intricate gorgeous knit dresses skirts um sets um and is rightfully just killing the entire game i believe the pieces are crafted um, between Jamaica and New York City and they're just gorgeous the crochet pieces are one of a kind and stunning I don't own anything from the brand I almost pulled the trigger on a, a top um, from Moda Operandi but I'm going to wait because after seeing the fall winter 2024 collection I gotta get my hands on on some of these <laughs> pieces okay um, one particular piece is a dress it has a black knit razor tank top connected to a yellow and black fringe on the side skirt gorgeous i love the two-piece knit set which is beautiful there is a a chunky knit uh red and gray skirt that's beautiful as well um great use of color with like the crochet and knit and a lot of a lot of times the knit has like little sparkles in it so it's nice and reflective just beautiful the collection also um black designers who definitely puts her jamaican culture into her designs um i would definitely link a few diotima pieces below um you can find her on uh, moda operandi for sure essence a ton of different places so and some of the pieces are currently on sale but i'm saving my coins for this fall winter collection because the pieces are piecing and I want some of it. Now the way that I've kind of incorporated knits and chunky knits and beach knits into my wardrobe is definitely with uh, like my resort wear. I wore a knit a crochet-esque 
skirt like a cover-up while I was in Mexico recently in Tulum and I say that this gorgeous Airbnb I'll pop a few photos up here um and then I also have just a few other like crochet pieces tops and bottoms um that just they they add texture to a look the the feel and the look and the texture of crochet and a thick knit just really does something and adds a different dimension and level of interest to an outfit next up is nia thomas and this designer um i learned about when i visited the black and fashion council showroom and she also does her own spin on knitwear i believe she currently lives in mexico city um but she hails from new york i believe and um all of her pieces are made in mexico gorgeous pieces she does sorry for the sounds of new york she does uh knit dresses sometimes with large sequins um she has this beautiful red knit dress that is gorgeous but definitely another designer that is killing it when it comes to thick juicy sexy knits and crochets um that you can wear all year round so i'll be sure to link a few pieces from nia thomas down below she's also um a black woman so another black owned business killing it during new york fashion week let's get into trend number five which is suits now i saw a lot of suiting on the runway suits have really been having a moment i would say the last two years but this year there's a bit of a spin on the classic suits i'm seeing lots of skirt suits short suits and suits with incredible designs we'll start with retrofit who did this stunning suit almost with it's i think it's either gray or black with like a billowing like almost like a smoke line through the suit and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it was amazing. And the way they styled this suit with a cute little clutch and a white pump with stockings did it for me. The pleat in the front is actually like, a, like paint or like a design. And it's, the suit is gorgeous. When a suit drops, I need it for my wardrobe because I've never seen anything like it before. Retrofet also did a houndstooth skirt suit with a matching trench that dusted the floor. <laughs> it's giving 80s boss B. You're a boss. It's giving, I'm right on top of that, Rose. Oh, one more thing. And this is so important. Whenever we're not alone or I'm on the phone and I ask you something, doesn't matter what it is, you always say, I'm right on top of that, Rose. Okay? Okay. How are the cost estimates for the superintendent coming? He needs them this afternoon. I'm right on top of that, Rose. And if you don't know <laughs> what movie that's from, I'm gonna give you a moment to write it down below. But if you're not older than a millennial, you probably don't know. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Okay. Um, she was a boss, a boss babe in her shoulder pads, in her hound's tooth. That's what this skirt suit is giving. And I love everything about it. Like a three piece skirt suit with a trench coat. <laughs> Retrofed did that. Okay. I'm loving it. Now let's move on to Michael Kors, which did a very smart black skirt suit. The jacket, nothing to, you know, run home about, but I love that the pencil skirt has a very high slit. So you're getting a little bit of a little, you know, a little thigh, a little thigh, a little moment, but still business as usual. And then let's move, on, let's move it on to uh, Brandon Maxwell, who did a beautiful, gray suit with a pleated pant and a scarf Ugh, gorgeous the tailoring impeccable i love how long the pants are just stunning um and then oh wait i missed one of the michael chorus looks michael chorus did a beautiful heather gray uh short bermuda short suit okay with a matching blazer six buttons and a short to match with a pleat in front. I'm in love with this Michael Kors suit. 
I I feel like I could rock a short suit, a Bermuda short suit. I love the length of the shorts that is right above the knee, like uh, gorge and stunning. Um, last but not least, we have Laquan Smith who did a pinstripe suit um, with a matching blazer and pant. And I just really loved how this was styled with like a little bralette-esque something underneath. I can't really make it out, but gorge. So we all know suits are trending, suits are big, but I feel like the spin is that it's either suiting with shorts or suiting with a skirt. Um, and I kind of piggybacked off this trend, especially with the pinstripe. I saw a lot of pinstripe suits by um, getting this super cute dress from Manier de Bois, which is, I heard, a black owned business. Um, I wore this out to dinner and with a few friends. I'll actually get it for you guys, even though I'm gonna pop up photos. This is a, almost like a suit jacket, but it's a skirt. And it comes with a matching corset, which I don't really know where the corset is at the moment. But Manier Dubois has so many very tailored suit sets or like blazer blazer dresses with corsets. Um, I'll be sure to link a few down below. In addition to that, I will make sure to link just a few suits that I'm loving. I know Revolve has some amazing like skirt suits right now as well. Manier, Manier Devois has some amazing ones. So yeah, I'm loving this trend and I'm definitely on the lookout for the perfect like skirt suit or short suit for 2024. Next up, trend number six, we have sheer pieces. Now sheer was also trending in 2023, but we've seen it kind of step up to make it a little more chic, a little more wearable, a little more classic. Um, so let's start with Retrofit that did sheer like lace paneling on dresses, whether that was a, a sheer panel top, sheer panels of lace, or like a see-through mesh on the sides of dresses. Um, just really, really beautiful with appliques to cover your modesty. Love that. We have LaPointe who did sheer bodysuits with their little uh, tiny mini shorts and their leather and faux fur or fur coats and jackets. I live for a sheer top, you guys already know. We have Michael Kors who did lots of lace uh, skirt sets um, where you can see like the underwear through or you can see the thighs and the legs through. A little more classic, a little more elevated being that it's not completely sheer, there's some texture to it but i love that look and then oh yeah another michael kors look they have it one in black and one in like a beige where it's just a lace skirt so that you can see through to the underwear i mean but it looks super chic it doesn't look like it's doing too much or vulgar in any way this is how you do like sheer pieces without going over the top. And you all know I love a sheer piece. I actually created my own sheer piece um, based on the sh sheer pieces being a huge trend in 2023. Uh, my collection with Something by Sanji, we did a noir collection with all black pieces and we came out with the ebony sheer, met, like sheer turtleneck. I love this top. The sleeves are super long. It has a beautiful seam up the front and up the back bell sleeves it is a great top and it's also on sale in fact all of the pieces from the something by sanji monroe steel noir collection that dropped in november of 2023 are currently on sale for this week only the sale ends on friday and we did a little um black history month celebration sale for the last week of february so if there are any pieces that you have been wanting from the something by sanji monroe steel fall winter 23 collection now is the time to buy it because it's currently on sale we have four pieces everything ranges from an extra small to a 3xl including the gorgeous ebony sheer uh, turtleneck top which i think just goes with everything you can always wear a beautiful lace bra underneath to conceal your modesty uh pair it with the gorgeous slate maxi skirt that we have in black it's a denim it's heavy 
wear it with a boot a knee-high boot or a booty is perfect for fall and winter and even transitioning into summer this is a year-round skirt and then we have two incredible dresses we have one cutout dress with a belt with the cargo pockets everyone loves a cargo pocket and then we have a super chic elevated midi dress with a, a stunning like thick cargo belt with gold hardware so good so definitely check out something by sanji monroe still collab and shop it while you can while it's on sale i've linked it down below that is trend number six we are rounding it out we are coming to the last trend of 2024 and that is actually a color and that color is burgundy but before we get into the last trend i will of course link some of my favorite sheer pieces available now in addition to the something by sanji monroe steel ebony uh sheer top i like to get a lot of my sheer pieces from jean paul gautier like the dresses insane and usually there are appliques or designs that cover your modesty so i'll link a few john paul gautier pieces i also got this incredible sheer skirt from and other stories i'm not sure if it's still available i'll pop a few photos up here but it's so chic it's definitely kind of similar to what michael kors has done this season with sheer skirts uh, but very much elevated and definitely giving chic all right, let's get into the final trend, which is a color trend, which is the color burgundy. We have seen burgundy or a very deep hue of red a lot in 2023. I believe like last year in 2023 and 2022, it was more of a candy apple bright primary red. We saw a lot of that from Ferragamo, um, and then just um, Michael Kors as well. And then everyone was doing red. But for 2024, we have taken that red. We have saturated it. It's deep. It's burgundy. It's rich. Um, and I'm loving it. And Kate did an amazing job with this color. I feel like the burgundy that they put out for fall, winter 2024 is the epitome of burgundy they did lots of leather trench coats leather jackets like leather s skirts i believe some satin and silk as well all in this rich burgundy color and i've just been seeing everyone lean heavily into burgundy not just for fall burgundy seems like it's going to be a year-round color i think we're going to see it for spring we're going to see it for summer and we're gonna see it in fall and winter. And if you don't like wearing burgundy, like a as a whole color on your body, I feel like accessories is the way to go. I've seen a lot of people get like burgundy, like vintage Kelly bags, um, Hermes bags. Um, you can go the bag route. I know Bottega makes a really beautiful Jody bag and a beautiful, rich burgundy. Um, and you can just do it in little pops of accessories as well as like footwear i know saint laurent has been doing a lot of burgundy as well with their footwork so i will be sure to link a few affordable and not so affordable <laughs> burgundy pieces down below if you're looking to add the trend to your wardrobe for 2024 and you can also incorporate burgundy into your wardrobe just with makeup there are a lot of incredible burgundy lipsticks i know nars makes an incredible one as well as dior so i'll be sure to link a few of my favorite in beauty when it comes to the lips for you as well all right you guys that is it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed it let me know which trend you will be trying down in the comments whether it's tiny shorts fur shirling mongolian fur giant bags sexy thick chunky beautiful knits and uh crochets suits any kind of suit you know a good pinstripe we love it sheer pieces or burgundy pieces let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed today's video or you learned something new give your girl a thumbs up subscribe i would love for you to join the fam and click the notification bell so that you never miss 
a video everything you've seen in today's video is linked down below in the description box all of my favorites online currently affordable pieces as well from each trend will be linked down below in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys